Oh. Hey, what are you doing here? It's a Sunday. You shouldn't be here. Um, are you hanging around? Are you going to stay for a little bit? Because if you are, I'll do a fuel economy challenge. Um, right, okay, cool. We're filming on a Sunday. Why not? Uh, I've just put in £40. Pounds. Um, not a lot of money, is it? But I'm not a very rich man. Let's have a quick look what that says the car is going to give us. The car says that's going to give us 230 miles. I'm going to reset my fuel economy calculator because it's currently averaged out at 25. So we'll reset that. Uh, and then we'll get going. So I'm off up to Nuneaton to do a half an hour stand-up set at the Barnyard Comedy Club, which is both exciting and scary. I've got three warning lights on today. My transmission light has come back on. My service light has come back on, but that'll go off in a little bit. And that bulb light comes and goes. So I'm not so particularly worried about that. It's about an hour and a bit's drive. And I'm doing a half an hour. I've planned, well, I've planned, relatively speaking, in Jeff terms. Um, I've planned to read out in a sort of flexible Jeff readout way something that I wrote back in the Corona days. Remember the days of Corona? Well, it's not really going to be YouTube friendly content because I'm going to talk about things that I can't actually talk about freely on YouTube. And I've been second guessing myself thinking. Should I actually do this? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm doing a piece of stand-up, um, or I'm, I'm a guest speaker in front of 250 people. It's going to be recorded. I'm going to be filming it myself. Am I missing a trick by not doing something that I can put on YouTube and monetize? And I thought, you know what? No. Um, it is right to talk about the things that I'm going to talk about, because I think it's important that we talk about them. And then whilst I was putting my £40 worth of petrol in my car just then, the um, headline on our local newspaper is about a gentleman that has just died suddenly. He went into a shop to buy some painkillers because he had a stomach ache and he just collapsed and died outside the shop. And I feel like that's the universe saying to me, do you know what, Jeff? you got to keep talking about this stuff because it's really important that we don't forget what's going on and we don't forget what was done to us in those two years during the big C. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a slow amble up towards Nuneaton done my fair share of extremely rapid drives in this car so we'll have a slow one today and see what kind of fuel economy we can eke out of it um, best I've had so far on a run was about 26 I think if I can get anything above 26 then I'm gonna be laughing but I think what I'm I suspect that what I am going to conclude from today is that there is no point driving this car carefully because I don't think the fuel economy is going to be much different when I do take it easy but we will find out and I will let you know in a minute don't push your foot to the floor don't push your foot to the floor come on you can drive this car sensibly prove it to the people Jeff prove it there and funnily enough while I was in Scarborough at the weekend I saw a Ford Puma parked outside a dealership and uh, it had a sign on it that said £299 a month with a £1,300 deposit well between me and you I paid £1,290 quid for this car so 10 quid cheaper than the deposit on a Ford Puma so yeah you know the Puma might be free road tax but um, you can have a big balloon payment at the end of that. That is, if it is, you do own it at the end, it might just be a lease. Um, and sure, I've got to pay road tax on this at 30 odd pounds a month, but I'm still saving 270 pounds a month by owning my own car outright. And it's an old car and I can maintain it and everything's easy and it's respectable. And I like taking pictures of it to post on social media because it's a cool car. You don't get that with a brand new Ford Puma, do you? And I know many of you that have been watching the channel for a while will think, Jeff, you're a broken record. You say the same things all the time. And that's because I really stand by it. It's 
suppose the Ford Puma would be slightly better on fuel though, wouldn't it? 29.9 miles to the gallon now, apparently. However, saying that about the Puma, that's not necessarily true. I've got some family members that have just bought a Kia Sorento 1.6, and that's a petrol, and that with them is only averaging mid 30s to the gallon. It's pretty weak considering we all used to run around in diesels that used to do 40 miles to the gallon everywhere you went. So we have absolutely gone backwards. Anyway, huge news. My one warning light has gone off, so I'm down to just two, the bulb and the uh, gearbox light. I reckon the gearbox needs a service. Uh, we're at 31 miles to the gallon, so everything is going well in the Volvo. interesting that Aston Martin that just went past did you clock the number plate you probably didn't see it because you're watching on YouTube it was 438 BMT now wasn't the original Aston Martin that was a Vanquish which was used by James Bond wasn't the original DB5 uh, BMT 216A so they're both BMT number plates so I wonder if he's put a BMT number plate on that car as a James Bond connection. A little bit of movie trivia there as we're rolling along. Right, let's sit behind this Jaguar high pace for a bit and hope that it doesn't wildly accelerate. the motorway now and heading towards Nuneaton and amazingly my fuel economy is saying 39.5 that's ludicrous uh, I have been cruising you know taking it fairly easy very easy actually um, but now we shall see how much that goes down I've got a slightly rural run now to the comedy club uh, 39 point well four now um, but that's impressive for an 850T5, which are notoriously thirsty. So what are we gonna get by the time we get to the comedy club? 32? Well, that would be good, wouldn't it? That'd be all right, that'd be respectable. Right, onwards we go. Onwards we go, that's a rubbish catchphrase, Jeff, and you can't have onwards, my friends, because that one's already being used by somebody else. I haven't seen Lee for ages. Hopefully to have a, hopefully to have a phone call with him tomorrow night to see what he's been up to. I think he's been hiding from the weather by uh, generally not being in England, which is fair enough, I suppose, isn't it? Right, onwards we go, my friends. <laughs> right, we've made it. Uh, it's about half a mile up the road now, on the right-hand side. My fuel economy is hovering at 38, trying not to accelerate. Oh no, we have to brake. Oh no. How much can I roll? I don't really want to accelerate too much because accelerating and braking are not your friend when you're trying to get fuel economy out of a car. You need consistency, you need flow, you need to anticipate what's coming up ahead and you need to roll as much as you possibly can. I don't think I could have got too much more out of this car, to be honest. Um, I think that was a pretty true economy run. I, I could maybe have eked a tiny bit more out of it, but the journey would have been unbearable. It would have been going unbearably slow. So 38 miles to the gallon is the best that I managed out of the 850T5, although I've got to brake here and then turn left and join this road. So it might drop a little bit at this last bit. You can hear my front suspension gently knocking. I can hear the rear suspension knocking as well. It's all manner of rattles and shakes coming from this car. Right, I'm sure the right turn is somewhere just here we are here we have arrived and it is packed today absolutely packed jeff in the volvo i was always going to turn up in a volvo wasn't i <laughs> predetermined wasn't it exactly right cheers bud right. crikey they know me already
got got VIP parking here. This is crazy. Can I just say to you before anybody else does? Yeah. Congratulations on making it to, and we know. Do you know? No. Was this his American one? Yeah, LT. Um, yeah. Brilliant. He had your poem on. Oh you know really? One? And the people didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I noticed it started trending again on Twitter yesterday, yeah. and I was wondering as, what, like, what had caused that. It's about... I've not had a chance. To, someone emailed me and, sh and showed me the link, but I've not looked yet. Yeah, yeah. Because that's a bit. That's a huge podcast, it's about isn't it? Twenty nine minutes in. Yeah. And he's got he's got you and I think Alex Phillips moaning on yeah. L, um, Talk TV. Got you. But she's been, um, you know, pointing fingers at people, and now all all of a sudden she's worried about her safety in London and all this stuff. Like, but I just thought it's a fine line you know the way you get your content out and what you do and don't say and we all naturally self-censor but it's yeah, got to be she's on talk tv and she's been yeah. saying um you know throwing up i'll let you get out sorry no I'm no it's fine i'm to... i'm just filming our conversation anyway i'm oh. gonna jump out now um <laughs> i'm making a little making a little fuel economy video today oh, a little right. bit a little bit of... I didn't mean to butt in. no no i like i like that you did because it added a little bit to okay. my video all right um, so yeah, just a little bit of behind the scenes of, yeah, yeah. of the Jeff chaos, but yeah, and no, it's, it's interesting that to be featured on you know channels that are big. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's, he does mention bits about England and, uh, and other parts of the world, but it, you know when I was sort of watching it, and then your face, I thought, oh my god, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's one of us. <laughs> yeah, so that was really nice. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and you know that it's travelling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that poem went absolutely yeah. worldwide. It, yeah. Worldwide, it was yeah, yeah. it was mental. So, yeah. yeah. Recognize the car. Recognize the car. Hello, oh, how are you doing? All right. All right. You? I'm good. Yeah. Right, you can be my guinea pig. So, um, oh. right. I wasn't sure what to talk about today. I was tell, just telling my lad about the one you did yesterday. Yeah. About the SOS button. Oh, it's bad. That is. I've had loads of emails about that as well since oh, people got people. Oh, it's have, great to meet you. I'll get my car in a minute. I'm filming at the same time as well. Um, people have been emailing me because yeah, 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 but I'm always filming. People have been emailing me because they've all been checking the terms and conditions on the cars, and it's interesting what's coming out. So um, anyway, today I'm. Um, I know it's all over, right? And we're supposed to forget about it, but I'm do I'm doing COVID today. I am. Oh yeah. Yeah. I went to see Jimmy Dore last night. How was that? He, he, he was. Uh, he was good. Yeah. And he's damaged. Yeah. From, but he's not. 100% on, yeah, 100% um, on every vaccine is bad. Yeah. Um, and he's still not yeah. there on the Trump. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he did defend him. Yeah. No, he'd, he'd, he'd heard, he's got a link. Someone emailed me, but I'd not looked at it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, cool. But uh, I said, just saying, we went to see Jimmy Dore, and he's, he's just about, but I think he played the room. Yeah. Um, and he just thought, he asked how many people hadn't had it. Yeah. Um, I haven't uh, got to speak to him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I just think um yeah, he was he was a bit yeah, cautious. He, yeah. Um, I mean he I talked he, about he talked about drinking blood and stuff. So. Yeah, but he yeah. didn't go back to it. Uh, but he just planted little seeds. Yeah. And he no, no, he's, he's been in Berlin the night before and uh, I think it it been they've been more receptive to yeah. what's actually going on. Cool. A bit it's a hard hard sell, isn't it, to say that the whole world is evil. Yeah. It is. It's a big. It's a big round, thing yeah. for people to, yeah, yeah. you know. And even from my point of view, like I've been, I've been booked here to do half an hour, and and I'm like, well, do I just do something lighthearted and funny that I could put on my YouTube, or do I do what I actually want to say, which is more hard hitting? And I was like, do you know what? Go for it. Yeah. Why not? People need to know. They do. They do. And like particularly with the COVID stuff, I haven't forgotten. So I'm going to keep talking move about it. Can't until these are p people who are brought to justice. Can't move on until they're all hanging from yeah. bridges. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And people who don't like capital punishment. Yeah. Well, we yeah. think some of them have already been. We before. think they've already. Yeah. Do you? Too many yeah. cloned uh, Too many. masks. Everything. Yeah. That is not the same Biden. Yeah. Oh, not a chance. So not a chance. That's not him, and he's centred to everything. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's beer o'clock. Yeah. Let's do it. Cool. Okay, let me get out. Robin Williams, I yeah. did you see that one the other day? Yeah. And, and um, Lady Di. Lady Di? Yeah. Interesting. MK, Junior? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's vice president right now. Love it. Um, are we going to win then? Are we going to win, are we? We've already won. We've already won. Yeah. We've already won, ladies and gentlemen. 
Excellent. Oh, you want to... <laughs> yeah, I've been filming, yeah. I'm, I'm not live, but I'm just shooting some behind the scenes yeah, stuff. Yeah, um... If you Hello. Look, if you look into the law of yeah, war, I'm coming in now. I can grab a beer. Into the American law of war and everything. Yeah. And, and, uh, um, Trump's actually uh, commander in chief right now. Is he? Yeah. Without mm, doubt. See. Yeah. This, this is all, it. Was all a big sting operation. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Oh, absolutely. Cool, it's, man. It's gonna be amazing. Right, I'm coming over now. Right, I found my people. What a great event. It's now ten past eight. And I'm leaving. I thought I was going to be leaving ages ago, so I don't think we're going to have any film on the way home. But, superb. I mean, what a great venue. And you've got the ability to have comedians, musicians, magicians, and then YouTubers, motivational speakers. It was really good. Really, really good. And mine seemed to go okay. I didn't bomb. People were happy. A lot of people came up and shook my hand and said... That was really good, thank you very much. And um, yeah, felt like I spoke about subjects that matter and that are important. I got a little bit lost at the end. I was a bit faster going through my scripted stuff than I expected. And I looked at my watch and I thought, oh no, I've got a little bit of time to kill. But I did manage to, I didn't stall because I did find something to flow with. Um, but I just had a little bit of a panic moment on stage when I thought, what do we talk about next? But then it, it sort of came, so. Um, I mean, that's only the second time I've done uh, sort of stand-up in front of a crowd, so it's not stand-up, really. I think it probably was funny, though. But anyway, if you were there, let me know in the comments. Now, let's see what fuel economy we can get home. Uh, Mrs. G has texted me saying she wants a bottle of wine, so I guess we can have a bottle of wine. And then when she falls asleep, then I can watch The Office, because that's basically all I do. If you were wondering, I wonder how Jeff Boy's Cars manages to turn his brain off after a busy day of making YouTube videos. Well, I watch The Office and I drink whiskey. <laughs> Not the um, British Office either. I only watch the American one. Sorry. Right. Homeward bound. How many warning lights now? Just the two. Right. Cheers for watching. 37.9 miles to the gallon. Let's see what I can get on the way home.